is there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of technique. There's a lot of really good sprint people, coaches that have scramble systems and things like that. They have whole systems of he's going to do this, that leg's going to go there. Awesome stuff. Okay, I, these little drills that I'm going to work on. Well, outside of this first one, the near foot, far foot stuff. I had a my high school coach was a was a uh, he was a, a, a Greco world champion back in the day. It was called schoolboy age group, but it was actually like I think 20 and under or something like that. Uh, but anyhow, he was really good, and we used to do these a lot. And after, during our practices, like we would do stuff, but we'd work on we would work on scraping the near foot. We would work on grabbing the far foot. We we would work. It, it, uh, recently, I started. I've been watching a lot of cradling happening, scrambling and cradling. So. With our youth kids here in Perrysburg, I was like, what's a drill that I can create that will break down scrambling and wrestling into a cradle from a scrambling position, right? And I, and I just kind of, I just thought about this one day. So all we're going to do for a little bit, we're just going to work in this position. Now, guys, watch what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to focus on getting this leg. I'm going to lift this leg. I got to step my outside leg up, and I'm going to lift Joe's leg, and I'm going to shelf it. So I'm going to lift, and I'm going to shelf it right here. Okay, now. What I want to be doing the whole time is I want to be creating pressure this way. I want to keep Joey's knee higher than his head. And now look, I want to shift my elbow to his what? I shifted my elbow deep. Now I can release and I'm attacking his head. And I'm looking for my cradle lock. All right, now here's the thing. This is aggressive and it's violent. I want to get to my lock as tight as possible, fast. So once I get to my once I get to my lock, so I'm here, I lift, I shelf, I sink elbow deep. I go to my cradle lock. Now I'm here. We want to get elbow deep. Okay, we want to get up tight like this. Elbows together on our cradles. Elbows together. We don't, one of my buddies, uh, Mark Mose, who was an unbelievable wrestler in his day, he talks about cradles. And, and not letting the guy that you're cradling move his neck around. And his analogy is like, you don't want to let the, you know like a brand new little baby, when babies are born and you bring them home from the hospital, and maybe it's in your family or it's your niece or nephew or a cousin or a friend, and you get to hold the baby and they're like, and the mom's like, hold his heart, hold his head. And you're like, look at I love him. I love him, he's so cute. And he's like, ah. You hold them under your arm, right? You hold them like this, right? Oh, he's so awesome. He's huge. Look at his feet. He's going to be a monster. I can't wait. Right? So you don't want to let the dude have a baby neck in a cradle. Okay? So all you're going to do, we're just going to work a little bit from this side. Uh, from this kind of, we're both on an inside, like a high crotch, right? You know, almost like you maybe go here, right? Wrestle in. I'm just working. I'm doing this. Bam, stepping up, okay? And now I want to shift my elbow deep. His knee is high. His rib. Now I release, bam, I go to my cradle. Okay, elbows are tight. His head's not moving around. In a match, I want to pull him. Basic. Down to his hip right there. I got this guy. We got him. If he's kind of a stud and he powers up hard on his arm, okay, thank you. Right there. Right, then you maybe can do this. Right? Shift your lock, you can swivel, right? Boom, get on top, right there. It's a cool little scramble drill to get to a crate, right? And you might be like, I'll never be in that position to match. Probably not that exact scenario, but there's different scenarios where what you're doing to his leg will have to, so watch, trying to, like, so, okay, uh, shoot. Shoot, shoot a high crotch. All right, we're here, we're wrestling. And he shoots a high crotch on me, and I sit the corner of my right here. But you got hip up like this, okay? Now I reach into his right. See where I'm at? Get the cradle. Weird things happen, you'll get to those positions, right? There's the one that, uh, the, the, the dude from PA, that's at Ohio State, the little sasso, that sasso dude, where he'll whiz her down. And he squares up, boom, right here. Look, where am I at? What's high, what, what do I got? 
I got his knee where? High, I'm elbow deep. His knee's above his head, I can attack my cradle. Does that make sense? So you will wrestle into those positions and you gotta be aware on how to, uh, watch, another one might be, and I, I may be doing this wrong, uh, the, the professional guys, shoot a low saying, wrestle, I'm like, nah, nah. he's like, whoa, right, I pull here, boom. I've got my leg, I got my leg straight, he can't lift his head, I'm gonna reach inside this leg like this, tight, and now I'm wrestling my back leg, I wanna wrestle up, oh boy, what a look, guys, here's the deal, his knee is up, into his rib, we're attacking a cradle. That's why it's good to start how we're going to start nothing this round. So just back and forth. Lift, step, elbow deep, attack the cradle lock, run him down to his hip, bam, right there. Boom. All right? Go and play with it. Okay? Ready? One, two.